evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed the 24th of July, 2019. We are indeed at Bethesda Methodist Mission, and we are here for the launch of the fifth book published by Mr. Sithangule Simisa. The name of the book is Make All Voices Count. Us being at the Methodist Mission, Methodist Church at Bethesda, the venue was selected deliberately that we are at a church, Apo Uslangule Engum Khamende, where he's a congregant, and there's a reason for that, and I know that in his speech he will touch on that. When you make the voices count and you explore the themes that you've explored in your book, healing truths, people that don't stand and throw stones, but rather offer solutions are things that we are looking forward to. I've read your book and I think they are there. So we are looking forward to hearing your view and for you to make this book come alive to the people that are here this evening. Mine is a very easy task. The first one is to greet you properly. Former President of our Republic, President Mutlande, and your beautiful wife, Mamukuku Mutlande. Our church leadership, Yalapa e Bethesda, Mfundi Suwambe Sendin Mulisile, Slangule and your beautiful wife, your family is here, your friends are here, Abandu Beba and Lalasa Bethesda are here, your last brother just walked in, he's here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just for taking the time out of your busy schedules and making the time this evening, on behalf of Usitangule, I would like to thank you and say welcome to the launch, his first launch. He's published five books, but this is the first time we've ever had an official launch. So welcome and thank you for taking the time and sharing in this joy. On his 41st birthday, he was born on the 24th of July, back in 1978. So today he celebrates his 41st birthday and what a way to celebrate. In 2005, Slangule published his first book, Africa Arise, Asimilanga. Five years later, he followed with giant steps, which was followed by The Courage to Begin Again in 2012. Very interesting books. If you really want to know who he is and where he comes from, you will read those first three books. The fourth book, From Where I Stand, was published in 2015. Today, in 2019, we are on number five. And number five is make all voices count. It's a departure. He usually writes in his personal capacity and usually writes personal stories. For the first time, it's about social commentary. It's about commentary about the state of our nation through his eyes. It's the first time he's publishing um, under his own personal label, SWS, INK or Swiss Inc for short. It's the first time that he's launching this and he has opted to do it here at Bethesda because it is his belief that the first fruits belong to the church. That's why we are here. You are the wordsmith in the family, so I will not even attempt to match you because I cannot. You took us on a journey where you looked back at our history. You held the mirror in front of us and critically evaluated where we come from. You critically looked at some of the mistakes we've committed jointly, whether in power or in our respective little corners, where we expect things to be done for us. And those that are elected some of the classic mistakes that they, have, that they have committed that have got bigger consequences as it were. You also took us through a journey of self-reflection. You quoted a few books, Things Fall Apart. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, I'm very biased. One of the greatest pieces of work that this continent has ever produced. We know that story. 
yet we see it repeated time and time again. You took us through that journey. You gave us a crash course in economics. Very basic, but just enough. Back to the basics of what, what runs the engine of a country. Demystified it. There's a lot of literature out there. There's a lot of talks. But you gave us a four-point plan, the vision according to Istanbul. Particularly, the third point that you spoke of, of raising the standards of teaching, nursing, and policing in our country as one of the practical initiatives that we can invest in as a country to guide us forward. I like that. You're not just a barking dog, barking at a moving car. Offering healing truths in Fondisiwa. It doesn't help us pointing fingers all the time. You challenged us into the spirit of servitude. Uh, I believe the seventh leadership that you spoke of. I don't know if you alluded to it or you spoke, you spoke about it. That each and every one of us have got the responsibility of ensuring that one, we have voices and we make sure that those voices count above all else. I don't know about you, do you feel them? Our voices count. No voice is bigger than the next. All of it works. But for them to count, you need to have one in the first place. Without God, the people cannot. And without the people, God will not. The books are here. They're 200 rand as advertised. Please do support. There's a tendency. Yok support and get hashtags. Social media. But can we translate the hashtags and the trending topics to sales? Thank you from my side. My name is Mbasa Sinisa. You've been a wonderful audience. And Slangule, it truly, truly, truly has been my honor.